What's the situation with the lean out here on the streets? The lean is rolling right now. Yeah. Motherfuckers are just try to sip it to be cool, but after you try to sip it to be cool, you start getting hooked. And once you hook, that's when you start really spending your bread on it. And that's when it start consuming you. And let's say one one week you like, I ain't got it. You gonna need it. Even when I stop, like you nigga go through them cold sweats and shit, that crackhead shit, you feel retarded. Oh, withdrawal. Yeah. Niggas, niggas say they don't go through that shit for the shit. Go to this nigga house one night, you like, let's let's pull up. Fuck it, let's pull up. Pull a phone to two. Just me and him. We sip the whole two liter, we smoke hella blunts, we go to the strip club, leave there, we go to his homie's house. Pull another phone or two. Sip that, smoke up. Then I get home, I must have motherfucker fell asleep. Something, I don't know what, what it was, but you know what I'm saying? By the grace of God, I opened my eyes and I was waking up trying to fight for the shit. I had a heart attack off that shit. That shit right there, nigga, was scary. Like, nigga, like, you ain't got no control over that. You trying to sock your fucking, yeah, or you yeah. know, it's like, you know, they put that boop, pop nigga's heart, so I'm just yeah. socking my shit. My Hell shit's yeah. still not coming back, and then I finally start breathing, and I'm breathing in so deep, I pass out. Yeah. I almost took my shit. Like, I done been shootouts, I done been shot at, all kinds of shit, but that shit right there, nigga, was scary. No soda. 2000, the scene's pioneer, DJ Screw, was found dead in his recording studio at age 29. High levels of codeine promethazine, among other drugs, were found in his blood. But um, you cannot get one person to say that DJ Screw died from drinking lean. They said, get back to me when you ask the people who created cigarettes and alcohol. But um, with these opiates, the lure of addiction is definitely a reality. Yeah, like when I was in school, I'd be in class, sipping drink. I spent like over fifteen thousand dollars just on my teeth because it's like all the sugar like rots your teeth. It just became like water or Gatorade. All this belly and all this extra weight. I'm fucking 36 now. I have a kid, and I don't want to be like 40 years old and sipping syrup, you know? I'll probably be retiring very soon. I've said that countless times, though. I love AC, man. I think he's hella smart. But I, I see he, he is looking for a change. But where he will be, I, I don't, only, 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 only God knows, you know? We can't take all the drugs out of society. We shouldn't blame these people that are at the lower level because the real people that are making the real money that's putting this out are these pharmaceutical companies. And there's a lot of money made off of this. There are all types of escapism. Some people do it through food, gambling, shopping, you know, television. People are self-medicating. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a vicious cycle. <laughs>